Let's do a new exercise in Autodesk Inventor. It is crankshaft. Now look, all dimensions are in millimeter. Material cast iron. All fillets 0.8 millimeter, and there is a chamfer 0.8 into 45 degree. Now this is the our front view. First, we will start from this cent central piece. We will start with this web. There is two section view. If you see this section view, you will see this web. Now look, 10 outer radius and bottom radius 15, center distance 14 and at this depth of this 10 millimeter. Then we will create this center part. This center part diameter you will see here in section view 8 and 16. See 2 millimeter, 2 millimeter and 20 millimeter from end, end to end. If you subtract 2, 2 millimeter from here and the corner there is a radius 0.8 then this face. So we will create this face first. New and go to metric and here choose standard parts standard millimeter dot IPT create. Now according to our drawing we need to choose front plane. Front plane means XY plane. Now activate circle. Now place at center point and place press left mouse and drag and you will see this now radius 10 means diameter 20 that's it now come down here drag radius 15 means diameter 30 okay right click exit activate line tool and connect line to line from here to here from here to here now let's do some relation keep constraint vertical select this origin point and this point see this is comes in one line right click ok these relate delete this relation ok these line by default ok delete this vertical relation Now select this line to this point, activate tangent relation, here tangent created, tangent created, select this circle and this line again, similarly for here also, ok, right click, ok, activate smart dimension, let me define center distance between these circles. Now even though you can trim this. I am going to activate trim and move cursor over line and you will see this is become dotted so click and delete see if click and delete right click ok now finish sketch and activate extrude feature now first input geometry profile already selected because there is only one close profile start condition also perfect we, are, we want to start from the xy plane now behavior direction we need to change so I am going to choose this direction this is the name let's say ok now material I am going to define here so I am going to select cast iron see here iron cast but this is going to be dark so I want to make a red color or something so click this one appearance now here this is iron gray so click this now here let's say this one but color now here I am going to define the color 43 255 43 ok apply cancel this is also cancel now look this is look a metallic something something like this select the back surface create a sketch activate circle now start from origin point now this diameter how much 18 enter again activate one more circle 16 enter now finish a sketch now here we have catch activate extrude feature now profile I am going to select only outer face see only outer edge this condition we will keep same 
direction also is in perfect direction 2 mm thick and this time output going to be like join because there is al already one solid body created so this option is appeared in the next extrude feature like this now here say, say ok now if I move my cursor inside you will see the inside circle so click inside circle now here start condition I am going to select the upper face and here depth is going to be 20 now look let me show you proper oh look this is going to start from here not from inside keep boolean join again say plus now this time select profile now select the profile outer profile this circle now face I am going to this now look direction is perfect 2 millimeter now look keep boolean join ok now look how we created this now first we have to create a plane so we, we need to choose a mid between two planes so I am going to select this face and this face and there is a mid plane going to create see it's already created now activate mirror feature now first I am going to select here mirror individual feature then feature let me select this one this body I selected now activate mirror plane so select this yellow plane and you will see the preview ok now let hold and shift hold shift key hold and press shift key and rotate with middle mouse and look right click on plane uncheck visibility ok let's create this on right plane 2 millimeter this 28 25 this distance you will see 60 total 67 40 20 and there is one catch you will see here those detail view 5.2 corner radius there is also one radius after doing this 30 millimeter 1.5 depth 1.15 millimeter depth and there is a 20 diameter and this corner have chamfer look two chamfers so let's do this now we will do this with the help of revolve feature so sketch now we have to choose one plane why that plane is perfect now here you will see at bottom there is one option called slice graphics click and this is the view activated now activate line now I am going to draw one line something from here there is a taper and comes little up and this is going to be like now connect from one line to here okay now activate smart dimension now this overall length 67 let me correct this now distance from outer edge it's going to be uh, let's say uh, this is lies at the center so it's going to be 15 that's it now this is going to be 2 millimeter now this diameter just half of 28 divided by 2 14 and this half 25 divided by 2 that's it now center distance from here to outer edge
फोर्टी mm. मिलीमीटर ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर नाउ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू दिस पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट टू मिलीमीटर नाउ इफ यू सी द एंगल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी डिग्री ओके एंड द गैप बिटवीन दीज टू इट्स वन पॉइंट वन फाइव मिलीमीटर दिस दैट्स इट ओके लेट्स दीज रेडियस इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाय टू Similarly, for this radius, twenty-one divided by two. Look, this is fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Activate revolve boss base feature. See profile already selected. You will see in color. Select axis, activate axis, and select this line, and you will see preview. direction i am going to keep default angle we need to make 360 because i want to make full complete round and output going to be join because this is going to add on this say okay look here now next option is this side this is also we are going to make it same 52 overall 175 28 25, then two millimeter here. Then there is one oblong hole. You will see in section view, there is one oblong. Okay, we will create letter first. Let me create this. 20 millimeter. 20 is the diameter. 22, this diameter, and uh, 52. And let's do this. Select Y Z plane. create a sketch now click this slice graphics activate line tool and i am going to draw one line something like this and uh, i am going to take something like okay again click and connect this okay now let's define this smart dimension first select outer to outer face 175 mm that's fine 10 mm this is going to be 22 divided by 2 okay distance from here to here 20 mm 1.15 radius 30 5.2 okay this is going to be near defined 2 mm from outer face to this face it's going to be 52 mm now let's define the 28 divided by 2 25 divided by 2 okay now there is only one dimensions balance
and that is distance from here to outer edge and this is going to be 15 now look drawing is fully defined see fully constrained now simply finish a sketch activate revolve feature now profile by default selected now select the plane see it is asking you red color choose plane so I'm going to select this plane rotate and you will see the preview direction is perfectly default 360 degree angle and output join say ok look now let's add this cutout key cutout here see 25 4 at center then uh, we will add those uh, fillets all here four fillet here fillet here and at the you will see this section also have fillets Now first we need to create a plane, choose YZ plane, offset plane and how much offset? Just one millimeter away. Eleven millimeter, just check rotate and shift. Okay. Because this diameter is 22 millimeter, so radius is going to be one millimeter. That's why we choose. Now click and edit. Now here I am going to activate slot. Okay. Now activate smart dimension. Now overall length, outer to outer, it's 25. Now distance from here to here. 4 I forget to add this distance now this overall diameter 6 3 right click say ok now I am going to create one line center line for reference purpose connect from here to here ok now make this line construction activate collinear constraint select this center line and this line it is in one line see the drawing is fully defined finish sketch now here I am going to select activate now profile already selected by default because only one close profile see profile and sketch sort out behavior now we, you can change it but before going to change simply go to output boolean is just simply shift cut now look it is moving inside depth 3.5 millimeter according to our drawing say ok now look fillet now point 0.8 now let me select all the edges 1 2 3 hold shift key and rotate with middle mouse just okay now look the all shift are applied now chamfer okay chamfer we will apply later but there is a one th now you will see m20 into 1.5 right hand and here also m20 into 1.56 left hand thread are here two chamfers 0.8 into 45 degree now right click and uncheck the visibility of plane now here activate thread Now first I am going to select this, select surface, see this is going to be surface. Now thread type, I am going to first choose unit. So I am going to stay with metric M profile. Diameter of this by default selected 20. Now here you have to choose pitch. So pitch is our M20 into 1.5. See, class 6G and right hand side. 
this is the overall depth we want to keep as it is say apply move to this now here again choose surface so i've selected surface metric m profile unit m20 into 1.5 now this time left hand thread okay chamfer angle distance 0.8 first you have to choose a face so i'm going to select this face then second you have to choose age i'm going to select this age you will see apply now comes to this end with the help of shift rotate first select face now here age change i'm going to select a continue age tangentially connected surface this is normally work for circular edges 0.8 45 degree okay now look if you see section view just go to view half view and okay now look how we made our crankshaft in autodesk inventor don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in autodesk inventor thanks for watching